It's Thursday afternoon. Diane and I are just going out for a little bit of a hunt. I don't know how long we'll hunt. We're uh, at a, a little park in a nearby town. I picked up a memorial and a, and a nickel, a Jeff, and a clad dime, all clad. And this is also clad, but it's the first clad half that I've ever dug. It's uh, 1978 uh, Kennedy. Let me see if I can get in on that a little bit closer. There you go. And look right, right there, you can see the spot it was laying on. Uh, yeah, it's not silver, but uh, still, still a nice find. We'll be back with more. Well, I had a quarter, half dollar type reading, and I dug this out. It's a little St. Christopher's medal. Uh, I think it looked like it might have been silver plated. It's not silver. It's, it's sort of a junky little uh, steel chain on it or something. But it's sort of cute. Okay, thank you. Okay, the, uh, oh, he's he's primping guys. That's that's the Doug man. He's got he's got a primp because he's the star of the show as usual. Uh, well, yes. Yeah, he yeah, did today. today right? and... Yeah, uh, we had a, a good hunt today. It was Sunday afternoon. Uh, Dougie came over, picked us up. We went to a park that we wanted to check out. Uh, it you know it, for a park for a clad park, it's wonderful, but that isn't what we were after. So we went out and door knocking, or shall I say door knock. Oh, this one. This, one uh, this place I've seen for quite a while. And uh, we went up, asked the uh, gentleman, and he was more than willing to let us hunt. And uh, this is what, uh, what I found. Click it in there and get, get a little more of a close up. First thing is, uh, it's an old button. It looks uh, like it was either silver plated or gilded. And inside there's a, uh, a glass with, uh, insert with a star in it. Uh, the back is pretty well shot, no shank on it. But uh, pretty, pretty neat little find. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, by the way, this house was 1811. So, and then here's the, the second button I found. Uh, it looks like copper, very, very large, bigger than a half dollar. And it's got some kind of uh, engraving on it, looks like flowers. That's neat. And shank's still there. Shank is still there, sort of bent over, but it's still there. No markings on it. And I got an Indian. A 1903, pretty nice, full liberty. Uh, we just washed them off. We got to clean them up a little bit better. Uh, well, uh, we'll do do that. Let me get in a little bit closer on it, so you guys can enjoy my wonderful Indian. Right. Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. I only got seven cents worth. Dougie got seven cents. Well, I got one cent and a couple buttons. Well, you sort of got a button here, too. We'll look at it. First, first one here is a 1913D wheat penny. Oh, the camera's fighting me here, guys. <laughs> yeah. 1913D. And then they put his two cents worth in. He got a two cent piece. And since he liked that so much, he got another one. <laughs> Were they 65, 66? 65, 66, yeah. Yeah. Pretty, pretty clean. We won't mention the neck there. We won't mention the flaw. Yeah. And then, so that's five cents, and here's his other two pennies. 
or shall we say scent, large scent. Yeah, two large scent. One, 18, 24. 24. It's there. It's the old matron head. And then an 1849 with two holes in it. And I'm surmising that it was used <laughs> as a button. I don't know. <laughs> that uh, I've heard of that done before. I mean, it's just perfectly set for a button, the two holes. Not a bad. I think it'll clean up pretty nice, Dougie. Yeah, it's going to take a little time. So, uh, we had a good day. And uh, we uh, really enjoyed it. It's fun being out with friends. And the Diane girl was with us, too. She she hung in there. And uh, I'm going to let Doug sign off. That's me. All right. Happy hunting from all the Dayton diggers. Old houses don't always have silver. Yep, yeah, that uh, that's true, but uh, <laughs> they do have uh, have, fun. have fun, and uh, we thank you all for watching, and God bless.